Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. How are we doing this morning? Hey, my darling sisters, brothers, my mommies, everywhere from wherever you're coming from. Let me know where you are waking up or you are about to go to sleep from. Which country are you in? Are you at work? Are you at home? Am I in your car this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. God is about to do wondrously in our lives this morning. God is going to do great and mighty things this morning. Hallelujah. God who is a faithful God. God bless you from Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome. Nassau, Bahamas is ready for divine upliftment. Thank you, Jesus. Anaga Bengele, Zambia is ready for divine upliftment. Hallelujah. Zambia is ready for divine upliftment. Cape Town saying, I'm ready. Jamaica saying, I'm ready. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, young preacher. Are you ready for divine upliftment? Talk to me, somebody. Johannesburg is ready for divine upliftment. Talk to me. Facebook, are you ready for divine upliftment? YouTube, are you ready for divine upliftment? Talk to me, Elizabeth. Yes, YouTube is coming in blazing. Where is Maggie Angel and Elizabeth on YouTube from? Come on, guys. Make sure you are sharing the live broadcast. Let's quickly get to sharing. Let's quickly get to tapping and increase the likes and make sure that we are populating the kingdom of God as we normally do it every morning. Good morning, Manana. <clears throat> I know you've got a testimony today. Uh, the island of the Grenadine St. Vincent is ready for upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this is going to be amazing. First Laura says, I'm ready for divine upliftment. As you are coming in and you are announcing your country or your city or your province where you are coming in from, please uh, just type for me, divine upliftment for First Laura, divine upliftment for Jamaica. I want you to, that is, the, that, that is our prayer focus. You know that Monday. Monday morning is Monday blast when we start the week we command the week and we are commanding divine upliftment into the entire week come on somebody let me see. Pretoria is being divinely uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. Maureen, I see you, my darling. Talk to me. Come. Let me make sure that today I can see all screens. I don't want to joke with the people on YouTube because they are coming in fire blazing. They are saying, enough is enough. We cannot be uh, overtaken by uh, TikTok. Zimbabwe is ready for divine upliftment. Thank you, Jesus. Uganda is ready for divine upliftment. Who else is ready for divine upliftment? Orlando East is ready for divine upliftment. Eastern Cape is ready for divine upliftment. Come on, somebody. Oh, yes. Mara Official, are you ready for divine upliftment? As you are ready, you, you show us that you are soul winners. And you share that live broadcast. And you keep on tapping. And you keep on commenting. Come on, somebody. Nigeria is definitely ready for divine upliftment. Cape Town. Yes, Tris. Right next to me here. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I thank you. Every single body, as you are coming in, divine upliftment, and you announce your country or your city. Divine upliftment for Tehofato. Divine upliftment. Oh, everybody in South Africa. Ah, I know we have never experienced this weather. I don't know who's experiencing snow. So I'm planning to catch some snow this morning and take pictures, hopefully. But Sasselbeck is saying they're ready for divine upliftment. I, I know that we're going to have an awesome weather. We're going to have an awesome time together this morning. Oh, Kenya, divine uplifted. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. The USA is ready for divine upliftment. Come on, Minnesota is ready for divine upliftment. Talk to me. Zimbabwe coming in guns blazing saying we are so ready Cape Town they are ready Cape Town is another country within South Africa I'm joking it's another city but it's a beautiful place you guys should visit it uh, sometime hallelujah Busi Siwe says I'm ready for divine upliftment oh Jesus thank you Holy Spirit somebody is gonna encounter God this morning somebody is going to uh, encounter the upliftment of God hallelujah this morning somebody declare it for yourself and say I'm being divinely uplifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to be divinely uplifted. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. God has a covenant with his children. Minnesota, I see you. Harry Smith, I see you. Limpopo is divinely uplifted. Guys, are we tapping? Can we tap our likes to at least 5,000 so that we can know that everybody is here and ready? Guys, I need to see people sharing so that I can see whether you are ready to divinely uplift yourself or you are divinely uh, uplifting others. Have we shared on all our WhatsApp groups? Hallelujah. Let me make sure that on the WhatsApp group, uh, people know that we are live. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's just thank God <coughs> for this morning. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, we thank you. I thank you indeed, in Jesus' name. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I thank him. I thank him for divine upliftment that is about to go all around. I thank him for the week that we are about to start. Holy Spirit, I thank you, Lord, that divine upliftment has come as a result of your covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Father, I pray, Lord, for your intervention. I pray for your covering. I pray that the blood of Jesus covers every single thing that shall be said. I pray, Lord, that there's going to be healings that will take place. I pray, Lord, that there will be a prophetic direction for the entire week that pe people will be launching out for success. My God, I thank you for answered prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I see people are still coming in. Please tell them that they need to be divinely uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. Hannah is about to be divine uplifted the lord will answer your prayers definitely welcome ladies and gentlemen this is the protocol breaking prayer altar where protocols are broken for your sake because you are a child of god where protocols are broken for your sake because you have taken charge of your life protocols are broken for your sake because god says it is your season it is your time god is breaking protocols for you this morning because he has remembered you thank you god bless you elizabeth for that gift on you YouTube, you're amazing. May God increase you in Jesus' mighty name. God is saying he's going to break protocols for you because he has chosen to remember you this week. As I said to everybody, Monday we start, we command the week, hallelujah, but before we command the week, we're going to lay our foundation from the word as it's coming prophetically from heaven in Jesus' name. God bless every single body on TikTok as well, who's gifting. All my subscribers, welcome. May you be divinely uplifted. Father, I pray for Elizabeth Wabuge right now in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy a supernatural, gigantic, fantabulous uplifting in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you. Every single person who's tapping in on this altar this morning, the Bible says that when you remember your covenant, my God, the word that you have commanded to a thousand generations, the covenant that you made, Made with Abraham the covenant and the oath that you made with Isaac and you confirm the same covenant with Jacob you are the one my God you confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel an everlasting covenant father as partakers of the same covenant as descendants of the same covenant my God and you said unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot for your inheritance father God I pray for every single person on this broadcast this morning lord that they are coming into their divine inheritance i pray to god my god that they will come into they are Canaan land, my God. They are promised land. They are stepping into their divine upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, this is no ordinary week. This is a week of divine upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I thank you, Lord, that every single person who's at the sound of my voice is going to be remembered by you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Lord remembers you, you can be assured that there's going to be a divine upliftment. This is a promise that he makes to you in the book of Psalms 105 verse 42 his holy promise and to Abraham his servant as he has promised it to Abraham he's going to make sure that it's going to come to pass in your life as well somebody say I'm divinely uplifted can we put it in the comment section so that it echoes I wanted to settle in your spirit that God is divinely uplifting you this morning somebody say I'm divinely uplifted I'm divinely uplifted make sure that every single welcome every single person that is seeing me for the first time as they are coming in you make sure you 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 introduce yourself to them and say you are going to be divinely uplifted you have stepped onto the ground where protocols are broken things are shifted it don't matter what was not working before you came here but god is saying 
divine upliftment is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For God remembers you this morning. His holy promise, he's going to remember you. I declare and I decree, it is your turn to be divinely uplifted in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Lord uplifts you divinely as a result of him remembering you, he is going to divinely uplift you like the way he divinely uplifted many people in the covenant, in, in the Bible as, a, as well, in Jesus' mighty name. As I track with the word of God this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah. As I track with the word of God, I, I asked him, I said, God, so what does this divine upliftment look like? He said, Fortune, when I divinely uplift somebody, it's because I have remembered them. I have I have decided that their season and there's a shift is about to happen. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that when I say I'm remembering you now, it means that I have forgotten you. No, I never forgot you, but I was waiting for the right time to launch you out on the right platform. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Jesus, God bless you, Zodra. God bless you, Lynn. God bless you, Zen44. Every single person that is watching me on YouTube, you guys are on fire. May the Lord of divine upliftment overwhelm you, overshadow you, and just let, let there be a rain of upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, thank you. The Lord says, I, I, I remember you not because I have forgotten you. The psalmist says, behold, he who keeps Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. So it means that even when you got tired in the middle of the night and you were praying and you were crying and you were saying, does God remember me at all? He says, I must assure you this morning. He says, I kept Israel. I don't sleep and I don't slumber. I don't sleep on the job. I know what it is that you desire in your heart. So even when you don't have the words to say it, I am the God who never sleeps or slumbers. I am the God who never sleeps or slumbers, who is going to make sure that Huiti is going to be remembered. I am the God that is going to remember Talisman in Jesus' mighty name. I am the God that is going to remember Erica in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am the God that is going to remember Zodra Magwaza in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, somebody shout divinely uplift me, oh God. Hallelujah. I tracked the word of God and the Holy Spirit took me to Isaiah 49 and the Bible says when Zion lamented about the neglect of God because they felt like God was not around and sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we feel like there's too much silence and God is not around but God actually wants you in an exclusive state where he can you can hear him exclusively and you lock out the voices of other people and the opinions of other people he says he answered can a woman forget his nesting child Child. Hallelujah. So when you understand that when you are in motherhood and you give birth to a child, you cannot forget that the, the child needs nursing. Mothers instinctively know when they have to breastfeed their children. They instinctively know when the child is hungry. There is a cry because the child does not have words at a point. So God understands your cry. God understands every tear. Every tear has a, a voice. My God. So God says, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on her son, on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. Somebody say, God will not forget me. And God has not forgotten me. God is not going to forget you and God has not forgotten you. In Jesus' mighty name. So God is saying, I don't forget. You are my children of the covenant. You are a covenant child. There is no way I can forget you. Talk to me, somebody. When God remembers you, he's simply saying that you have special attention. You are a special case. You are a VIP case. Can somebody announce to yourself, in case you have never been called to the VIP line, in case the red carpet has never been rolled out to you, this morning I prophesy I, that red carpet will be rolled out to you. That walk of, 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 of fame when you are walking into the, the, I don't know whether it's Hollywood or Nollywood, that pictures are trying, the paparazzi are taking pictures of you. God is saying, I have remembered you in that way that everybody will be looking to take pictures of you because they will not be able to ignore the divine upliftment as we command this week. My God, we shall be divinely uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. He says, Fortune, I'm about to remember them in such a way that they know that they are a special case. If somebody says, why do you behave like you're all that and a bag of chips? Why do you behave like you are the best thing since sliced bread? You said, I am exactly that because God has chosen to divinely remember me. Oh, shakari hasata. Oh, Jesus. Hey, somebody say divine upliftment. Divine upliftment. We shall be divinely uplifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, somebody.
Stay focused on the divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. No devil in hell can stop it. God bless you, prophetess, in the mind, mighty name of Jesus Christ. God says, fortune, tell them, I'm about to visit them. Somebody is about to have a divine visitation because of the remembrance of God. He says, when I divinely remember you, you are uplifted. I will deliver you from whatever dilemma, whatever thing that you have been challenged with, whatever thing that has been making you a, a challenge. He says, when I remember them, fortune, they will know because they would know I have rescued them out of the wiles of the enemy. He's saying, I'm about to uplift you and I'm about to re uh, rescue you. Come on, somebody. Who needs that rescue? You. There is somebody that yesterday you were beaten up yesterday and you are wondering, it should I walk out or should I? God is saying I'm about to rescue you. Some people were not physically beaten up, but they were beaten up emotionally. Some people were harassed. Some people are always just being tormented. Some people have just chosen to be a thorn in your flesh, bullying you left, right, and center. I'm saying there shall be a divine upliftment in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people have been, uh, oh God, let, let, let me stick to this uh, teaching first. Jesus, let me go, not go there. You have been praying because in your workplace, it's like you are being bullied and, and, and everything is resting on your shoulder and, 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 and these things are starting to have pressure on your family side. My God, I pray for that person that is listening to the sound of my voice and saying, uh, God, I need divine upliftment out of this situation. I love my job and everything, but I don't want my family to fall apart because of it. Hallelujah. There are all sorts of demands, and I'm trying to prove myself. I'm trying to work myself up in this workplace, but at the same time, it's taking away time from me and my family. I pray for you right now that God will give you the power to make the right decision. Can I prophesy a divine upliftment in your thoughts, in your decision making, and God will give you the peace, and that God will open doors for you divinely to see new opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, God is about to remember somebody. God is about to remember somebody. He says, fortune, remind them that when I remember them, I answer their prayers at the special moment. My God, I pay attention and I make sure that when I answer it, they know that I'm putting a specific focus and I'm lighting that special moment for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, I'm about to grind salvation. Hallelujah. The same way he granted salvation to the robber who was crucified. Come on, somebody. He says, Fortune, I'm, a, I'm about to lift up somebody and change their circumstances. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God, change my situation. He says, I'm the God who remembers. And when I remembered, I divinely uplifted Noah. Come on, somebody. If somebody is looking for a witness, fortune, tell them and give them my CV and say, the same way I uplifted Noah, I'm about to divinely uplift somebody who's listening to the sound of your voice this morning. He say, fortune, tell them that I divinely uplifted Abraham. Come on, somebody. Oh, shakoria basata kadia. Sarah was divinely uplifted by God. Genesis 21 1. He says, I'm about to uplift somebody. I'm about to open up wombs. I'm about to take away barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, I'm divinely uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. He says, When I remember somebody, I divinely uplift them the same way. When I remembered Rachel, my God, I uplifted her and her womb was open. I prophesy into that womb that they've been saying they are it's barren. My God, may God divinely uplift you so that even your in-laws are shocked. Those that tied your womb, my God, will be shocked and wonder why their charms are not working against you because God is the God that put that womb there and nobody is going to manipulate that womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will conceive a this year, this month, this month, this very winter month, I don't know what season it is in your, in your country, but I prophesy a divine upliftment into every barren womb. I prophesy a divine upliftment to everybody who has been trying to fall pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you have been trying to conceive businesses. You've been trying to conceive everything else. Kariaba Soto Korea, you are divinely uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says, Fortune, I am the kind of God that when I remember my covenant children, I divinely uplift them. I, 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 the same way I divinely uplifted Joseph. What about Kariaba? 
Joseph was thrown in the ditch by his brothers, not somebody else, by his brothers. Some of you have been thrown into ditches by your own family members. You have been stabbed in the back by the people that you trusted the most, that the people that you thought, this is my best friend, this is my BFF, this is the one who's got my back. I'm talking to that one and I'm saying God is about to divinely uplift you and, and, and take you out of that situation. I command that relationship with fake friends to scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you, Anna. Hallelujah. Joseph has gone through so many things. He was sold to the Midianites as a slave. From there, he found himself in Potiphar's house. And later, he found himself in jail. Do you understand that there was a repeated cycle of evil happenings? There was a repeated cycle of things that were going wrong. I don't know what they've been doing to you. And you have been feeling like, isn't it not? Is it? I'm still getting over the one that they did last month. I'm still trying to recover of this one. But God says, my God, in all these afflictions, I am divinely uplifting you. Because I have chosen that this is your week of divinely up upliftment. I have remembered you. In whatever affliction, whether the afflictions have been coming in masses, come on somebody. Hannah had had to experience her, her own divine upliftment when they thought she was drunk, when they thought that, th thought that she was crazy, but she was saying, I need a child and I don't, I don't just need any child, but I need a specific child. I need a son. Come on somebody. She vowed and she said, I will dedicate that male child to, the, to God. Hallelujah. And the answer came. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm divinely uplifted. When you are divinely uplifted, answers come through in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord, the same God, he said, as I divinely uplifted Hannah. Come on, somebody. I was the same person when I remembered Samson when he was in affliction and when he cried for help. So I want you to cry out when you are typing in that comment section. You are saying, God, I'm existing and I'm still here. Do you hear my cries? Can you recognize my cry for a divine upliftment? The same way you did it for Samson, God, do it for me in the name of Jesus Christ the same way you did it for the children of Israel when they were in a captivity God do it for me come on somebody somebody shout Lord do it for me do it for me God do it for me and do it for my family I decree that they will do it he will do it for your family hallelujah father the way you same the same way you divinely uplifted Jeremiah in the pit my God uplift me I prophesy divine upliftment into this whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, divinely uplifted, YouTube. Thank you, Jesus. Many people are in all kinds of different kinds of spiritual dilemmas, spiritual pits that the enemy has been bullying you with. And the Lord is saying, fortune, reassure them that I will deliver them. God says, I'm going to deliver you. Come on, somebody. God made King Ahasuerus to remember Mordecai and the king promoted Mordecai. You now begin to understand that when God remembers you, he uplifts you divinely. When they thought that they were going to kill you, when they thought that you were going to be demoted, God just designed, designed things a different way and uplifted Mordecai. Divinely uplift me today. My God, thank you, Jesus. Jesus remembered the thief that was on the cross with him who cried out to him for help and he said okay because you cried out I've heard your cries and I'm gonna uplift you talk to me the psalmist says that God remembers his promises so he, we, we rest in the promises we rest on a CV we rest on a, 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 a lineage a, 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 a whole ancestral line that tells us that God is a God who is a promised God and his promises are yes and amen if he did it for them then there's a reason why we are following this template my God, I pray for every single body in this broadcast this morning. And I say, Lord, may they be divinely uplifted. The same promises, my God, the same way you work your promises, my God, may they work in their lives as well in Jesus' mighty name. Give them the authority, Father God, from the word that you have in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. There's somebody on the broadcast. You, your, your, your vein on the right, is currently swollen, and the blood has been. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's like there's a there's an issue with the blood flow. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hand on this hand right now, on this wrist, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
The life is in the blood. As I'm touching my hand, somebody else, you have been sitting the whole night and you have been meditating and you wanted to commit suicide. I declare and I decree you will not take your life in Jesus' mighty name. You will not take your life in Jesus' mighty name. May the hope of God well up inside of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord has remembered you this message. If, if, if I came just for you, if I woke up this morning to announce to you and to give you an, a hope, I know you feel like you, you have not been coming to the end of your expectations. You have been feeling like you have not been coming to the results that you wanted and you are saying it's enough. The same, you will not cut, no, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of suicide, the spirit of giving up to go out in Jesus' mighty name. Mm, Trish. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Trish, for confirming that's you. You are uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord has remembered you, Trish. He's not a God that lies. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for making me obedient to stop. If I stop for Trish this morning, Father, every single person that is on this broadcast, whatever it is, that edge where you are about to fall off, I came for you this morning. Trish has confirmed that that was the word for her. Please don't use any crying emojis. Anybody on my official, I don't want you to ex ex influence the views because I need more people in the kingdom of God. I need everybody to come through into the kingdom of God. So make sure you connect with the account where you are in so that you are also part of the prayers, okay? All the time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for divine upliftment. The same way that the psalmist says, God is a God that remembers his promises. Lord, remember and visit somebody who's listening to the voice. Everybody who's under the influence of my voice. Father God, I ask you that you remember them. If you woke up this morning and said, I'm here for that divine upliftment, for that divine remembrance, it is you. You may be the one and don't let your moment pass you by in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to do it for you. There are certain things that will happen in your life. There are certain things that will be unlocked because God has remembered you. And when he remembers you, he will give you a divine visitation. So get ready to get visited by God. Some of you, I need you to be perceptive. Some of you, it's not going to be a dream or a vision, but you're going to see certain things around you as you are traveling. There are certain things that will be confirmed by nature. There are certain things. Some of you is going to be, I see somebody, you're going to be driving on a highway. There's going to be a billboard. That billboard is, the background is white. Please come back into the inbox and tell me about this testimony. My God, Shakura Basata. As, oh my God, now it's geography. But it's going to be on your left-hand side. This billboard is going to be answering a prayer that you have been asking. You have been waiting for a confirmation from God. When it comes to the things of God, don't try to make sense of how. But I'm just saying, I'm seeing a billboard. It's, it's dominatingly white. And there's a response there. It, there's very few words. They're not, the, the words are not even up to five, three words exactly. There's three words on that billboard and they will answer you. So I'm, t I'm trying to teach you briefly. I'm just digressing to say your divine visitation. Do not wait for burning bush experiences where you are saying and you are thinking somebody's going to say, hey, hey, I'm, the, I'm God. Wake up. This is what I'm saying. No, some of you are going to hear, you're going to hear in different ways. Some of you, your children are going to make certain statements in the next three days. And that will be the answer of the thing that you were praying for. Because you will say, oh my God, children say the dandest things. May the Lord open your spiritual eyes. May you be perceptive, your ears and your eyes. I pray for your eyes. And I know some, some people know 
they can testify that they have experienced that. How many of you have experienced that? That your children will say things and you'll be wondering whether they heard you talking to somebody about that situation or whether they heard your prayers. But this is how God is going to visit you. Thank you, Jesus. So he's going to have a visit. You're going to have a visitation first and foremost. The same way Jeremiah said, oh Lord, remember me and visit me. Somebody say, Lord, remember me and visit me. Oh, Isabel, thank you for confirming that. Wow. So you've experienced that, right? And you're wondering, oh God, what did I do now? Thank you, Jesus. You're wondering, does this child, is this child in my thoughts? So I'm asking you to be very perceptive. The answers are coming. The visitation is coming. The confirmation is coming in different ways. He says, when God, when I visit them, I bring them out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Come on, somebody. Elizabeth, you are existing and you will not only exist. I pray for a quality life. And I'm saying you will not just exist, but you will thrive. Elizabeth, you will, you will thrive. I shift you in a season of thriving where you're not just feeling like you're just making it and you're just managing, but you are going to exist beyond. You are going to thrive. Can somebody get into a divine upliftment and you thrive? He's going to bring you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. The same God when he remembered and he divinely uplifted Mordecai when he visited him. And secondly, the thing that God does when he remembers you, he answers your prayers. So he doesn't just come around for fun. He remembered and uplifted Israel. He remembered and uplifted Hannah. God, my God, I see them. And when he visits you, he's going to confirm his covenant. He's going to reassure you of his covenant. Hallelujah. When God remembers you, he's going to confirm his covenant. He, the Bible says in Exodus chapter 2 verse 24. So God geared their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He hears your groaning. And he says, I remember the covenant because I'm a God of covenant. I'm a God that keeps the terms and conditions. I'm going to honor my contract. And when I remember them fortune, I'm going to make sure that I perform according to the covenant. I'm going to perform according to the service level agreement that I agreed with them. They shouldn't despair. They shouldn't chicken out. They shouldn't give up on me because I will show up at the right time. Because he doesn't want you to... It's, some people, when they're released too early, that thing would have harmed them. But... I know many of you would have experienced that when the Holy Spirit nudges you and holds you back, it's for a reason. And then you discover an hour later, a few minutes later, or a few days later, that that was for your salvation and for your deliverance from an impending harm that would have obliterated you out. Thank you, Jesus. The same way you remember Noah, my God, may there be a divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, remember me, O Lord. Divinely uplift me, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as you are divinely remembering them and as you are divinely uplifting them, Lord, I pray that you show favor on your people. Come to their aid in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single person that is at the sound of my voice right now, my God, thank you, Lord, that they are going to enjoy the prosperity of being your chosen ones in this week, my God, as we command this week in Jesus' mighty name, that they will share their joy in Jesus' mighty name, that they will continue and give you praises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody keep on declaring. I'm remembered by God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm stepping into my season. The Lord says that there will be a divine completion. We are in the month of completion. Here's the word that is coming to my spirit. He says, being confident of this very thing, that he who began, began a good work 
in you will perform it until the day Jesus Christ comes. He says, let them take confidence in my word. I have confirmed and sent this prophetic word to say, if I begin something in you, I finish it. I'm not a God that aborts projects. I'm not a God that aborts destinies. Hallelujah. I have begun a good work in you and I am confident and sure that I'm going to perform it until the day Jesus Christ comes. So until Jesus Christ comes, you are sitting here on this earth. You are not checking out. You are not giving up. You are not going to kill yourself. You are not going to walk out of that relationship. You are not going to walk out of that marriage unless God ordains it to be so. If it is the will of God and that's the instruction, you will walk out. But some of you are going to need to stay in that marriage and work it out. You're going to have to do an introspection and work on yourself and see in what part have you contributed to that situation. And you're going to pray and say, God, you're going to intervene. You're not going to let any third party come and scatter your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I had to drop it in there for some few people in Jesus name. I am sure that the God who began his good work in you will carry it on until it is finished in the name of Jesus Christ. Am I doing for time? I'm still good. Lord, if he makes you to start something, he will make sure that he completes it. He says, fortune, not only will I divinely uplift them, but if it is me that called them to do that project, if it is me that gave them that vision, I'm going to make sure that it is brought to completion. So anytime you are struggling with whether or not, why is this thing not coming to completion? Why are things not working out? You probably need to check whether was God in it in the first place? Is this a God idea or was it a good idea? Because sometimes we've got friends that give us good ideas, but it was not necessarily a God idea. So every good idea my god that every single person who's listening to the sound of my voice right now my god may they check that it is a god idea it must be a good and a god idea in jesus mighty name god is never tired of your issues children of god and Father, we give you all the glory for the upliftment. We give you all the glory for the completion that you are bringing into us in Jesus' mighty name. We, bring, we, we, we give you glory, for God, for divinely uplifting us, for divinely completing all the great things that you have done for us in our lives. My God, we are grateful and we are giving thanks this morning. We are saying, God, as you have uplifted us before, and my God, you are uplifting us and shifting us into this new season. My God, we thank you. Father, we are here this morning. We are reiterating our confidence in you in Jesus' Jesus mighty name we declare and we decree that we will not die even if our enemies have plotted and even if our enemies have strategized my God their plans will fall to none in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father we know that you are a God that knows the best for us in everything my God Lord implement that thing my God he says I'm the God of accuracy you will know it's me when I complete that thing in Jesus mighty name so father i pray lord that you continue to perform your wonders in our lives continue to perform your wonders in our families in our ministries in our businesses confirm your your your, your presence confirm your wonders in everything that we do whatever you started with us my god will not be aborted in jesus mighty name we are not about to abandon our dreams we are not ab about to abandon our prayers can somebody take delivery of this can you take delivery of divine upliftment? Is somebody ready? Don't test him. Don't come in and do wishy-washy. He says, take delivery of this thing in Jesus' mighty name. Daddy, whatever you are causing to grow, it will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Esther, that that thing that God planted inside of you, it will grow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you have a dream to do something and you have been wondering whether you wanted to launch out. The Lord is saying that will grow. Do not hesitate. I will grow it. It is me. I'm the one that created. I'm, he's in charge. Of, guys, he will grow it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for every single person in the sound of my voice right now, my God, that you will give them the grace to fulfill the, your intents and purposes, that your intentions and purposes and divine uh, uh, destiny, my God, shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. The scripture says in John chapter 11, 34, the question was asked, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus started to initiate a change. Once he asked that question, and once you are in that predicament and you are saying, God, 
my situation is bad and you say god i feel like i'm dying and you say god the way the person is so sick i don't even know that if there's gonna be a turnaround or not my god jesus initiated a question he's saying where have you laid him where have you put away that problem where have you laid that dream that you want to abandon my god so it's good that good and accurate questions are asked in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ and when you ask the the right questions the kinetic motion starts to move hallelujah so lord i pray that any question that anybody who's listening to the sound of my voice that question that they need an answer for their destiny fulfillment for their destiny advancement in the name of jesus christ that question will not be prematurely terminated they will face the questions and they will have the answers and the solutions in jesus mighty name the same way that blind Bartimaeus answered the question and light came into his life for good father god anybody who has been feeling like i can't see what i'm going through i just see darkness father god may they receive their vision in jesus mighty name oh shakadi asata oh jesus hallelujah are we ready to command our week father thank you for divine upliftment divine upliftment releases promotion divine upliftment releases elevation somebody said elevation i'm being elevated may the god give god give you comfort to move on your your father did what he could let me speak to somebody quickly so before i pray and close that person on on fortune online you are on this broadcast on my platform your dad did the best he could he released what he could in your life. He empowered with what he could. He did the best he could. The best way he's saying, he's saying that you should continue and do better and go higher. Father, I pray for restoration and I pray for absolute comfort for Barry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, very as I lay my hands right now. Oh, Jesus. Very in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's a God that restores. He's a God that restores. Very as I lay, I, I'm going to stretch out my hand. I've just put anointing oil on my hand right now. You're unfortunately online. As you stretch out my hand, I want you to come into agreement with me. Put your hand on my hand and lay hands on your womb. Your right hand on your womb and put your left hand on your heart. Barry, are you communicating with me? I'll come back to that court issue in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to put it in your heart. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak a complete healing. Father, can you mend her broken heart in Jesus' mighty name? Father, no mother should ever lose her child. Father, Karaba Shotokodi Abasata, I pray for complete restoration. Lord, that she will conceive again. And you will make her stronger, my God. Father, I ask that you speak to her. Give her the comfort whenever she's feeling like breaking down. I declare and I decree you will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Melissa, for standing in agreement. All the intercessors that are on all my platforms, I need you to stand in agreement with for Barry, B-E-R-I. She's been going through a lot of turmoil as a result of miscarriage of a child. And I did... Barry, I need you to, to stand. When you are in agreement with us, you type that amen. When you say amen, you say so shall it be. He's a God that restores. 
He's a God that knows no barrenness in Jesus' mighty name. Let me continue. So receive it. There's a lot of people who are praying for you and who are standing in agreement. They are saying there shall be restoration for you in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to start feeling that relief. Let God mend your heart. That was not the end. She, you will still conceive. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I pray. I thank you for divine upliftment. Can somebody just type divine upliftment one more time? It is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you that there has been a lifting up this morning, that there shall be a lifting up as we go into this week. Father God, I prophesy promotion and elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, there shall be an encounter of divine upliftment from Facebook, to, uh, TikTok, uh, YouTube, every single person who's a part of this ministry, everybody who is a part of this ministry who has connected with us, my God, those who are in agreement with us, our partners, everybody who has been gifting, my God, there shall be a divine upliftment. I declare and I decree this is your week for divine upliftment in Jesus mighty name things will start to miraculously turn around for their good in their lives in Jesus mighty name Lord I decree and I prophesy there shall be an unmerited promotions and blessings I want people to receive as you are typing if you cannot type fast enough and say divine upliftment I need you to shout that amen louder I need people who are going to stand in agreement with me because I'm not saying this for myself I need you to appropriate it for yourself and tap it around Yes, he's turning it around and I want you to tap into it. So Father, I prophesy that every single person who's at the sound of my voice, they will rise above their equals in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I prophesy that there shall be uncommon favor, unmerited favor. Grace shall operate this week for them in Jesus' mighty name. The works of their hands will blossom in Jesus' name divine upliftment that comes from God divine upliftment that does not come from human beings divine upliftment that nobody can reverse divine upliftment that nobody can take away in Jesus mighty name divine upliftment that nobody else can take credit for but it will be from the Lord in Jesus mighty name I prophesy that you will find divine upliftment in the sight of the Lord in Jesus mighty name the Bible says God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Pad Padan Aram and God blessed him. May you be blessed in this week in Jesus' mighty name. Jacob was favored and loved by God. I declare and I decree that you will also be equally favored by God and loved by God. Jacob encountered divine upliftment in the Bible and he was elevated above his peers. I want you to declare and decree right now and say, I shall be elevated and be above my peers. I want you to pray specifically for your children in Jesus' mighty name. My God, are we going there? Okay. You're going to pray for your children this morning. Don't let them go out and go to school or anything. If you've got your anointing oil in the house, you put it on your hand and you lay hands on it. If you don't have it, no problem. You lay your hands. You pray for your hands and say, God, these hands are anointed. And, and as I release into my children, Father, I decree and I declare that they, these ones shall be above their peers. In Jesus' mighty name, they are elevated. I want you to do this for your children. I don't know why the Lord is saying that, but specifically for your kids today wonder lay hands on your son the wonder that i'm talking about your name is spelled w-a-n-d-a w-a-n-d-a you need to lay hands on your son then there's a lady called jacobeth i don't know but the Lord is visiting you. The Lord is saying, I am remembering you in Jesus' mighty name. Divine upliftment is going to improve the sight of many people. It's going to open up your spiritual eyes. There shall be divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. I will be elevated this week. And the child Samuel grew on and was favored both with God and also with men. I decree and I declare. Father, I stand on the word in First Samuel. And I decree and declare over everybody who's at the sound of my voice. That they shall be favored by God and they shall be favored by men in this week. In Jesus' mighty name. 
the same way, Lord, that your scriptures say that you were with Joseph and you showed him mercy and you gave him favor in the sight of the keepers of the prison. My God, anybody who is locked up in any captivity, emotional, verbal, uh, mentally, anyway, uh, in their workplace and they're feeling like they're locked up in a prison, my God, may you grant them favor to be favored by those who are the keepers of the prison, those who are the gatekeepers. Somebody is going for an interview today. As you step into the gate of that place, my God, I need you to say this. Even if you, you, you don't have to shout it out loud when you get into that place, from the moment you step onto the gate, I want you to stop. Even if it's just for like a split second, even after you, whether the gate is open, don't just walk in. I need you to stop at that gate and you decree it there. And say, I have favor with the gatekeepers. I have favor with the gatekeepers of this place. This is not the last time I'm stepping into this establishment. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you. As I step in into this gate, I step into my permanent position. In the name of Jesus Christ, I step into my favor. And then you can walk in and go and announce yourself that you're there for the interview. Come and tell me how beautiful your interview was in Jesus' name. So how do we encounter divine upliftment, Pastor Fortune? We encounter divine upliftment by prayer. Hallelujah. I'm going to close in the next nine minutes, okay? You have to improve your prayer life. You have to be rooted in your spiritual life. Come on, somebody. You have to know that you can pray to God for help. God is not deaf. But you have to cry. You have to tell him. You don't cry in front of your enemies. You cry in your secret place. And you say, God, uplift me. You ask for grace and you ask for favor to be uplifted. You thank him in advance for it. In your prayer life, he knows your cries. After you have cried, wipe your tears and tell him, God, thank you for favor. And you thank him for that very thing that you asked him for. If It, may, it, it will make you feel good. You don't have to, to write three pages of, of your request. No, start thanking him. Start writing three pages of your thanksgiving for the things that you are believing God for. How do you encounter divine upliftment? The Bible says, I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given. I say unto you, seek, and you shall find. And I say unto you, knock, and the door shall be opened. That means there's a gatekeeper that is holding the key. There's a door person who is holding the key. So if you don't ask, it will not be given. If you don't seek, you will not find the thing you are looking for. It's not going to be by sitting on your laurels. When you don't knock, nobody's going to open the door. There's somebody who's holding the keys. And that person has to open up those doors for you in Jesus' mighty name. How do I encounter this divine upliftment? Pastor Fortune, empower me so that I can know that as I pray throughout this week, this thing is guaranteed by your obedience to God. He says, when you obey God, when you obey God, doors open. When, when you want doors to open, you need to be in obedience to God in totality. He says, the blessing then, therefore is released. And I begin to work wonders in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Deuteronomy 11 verse 27 says, a blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. So he gives a blessing. There's a commanded blessing that is being released this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How am I going to make sure that I, I get this divine upliftment, Pastor Fortune? You're going to do it by proclaiming good things. You're going to stop complaining. You're going to stop proclaiming things that are not working in your life because you are elevating too much of the enemy's attacks. You are elevating too much of your problems. But he says, when they proclaim good things, how do I proclaim good things? You're going to proclaim good tidings. You're going to proclaim blessings. You're going to proclaim favor. You're going to proclaim Proclaim positive things to yourself. Proclaim good things which the word of God and, and have faith. Hallelujah. Though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I shall not fear no evil. My God, because my God is with me. His rod and staff corrects me. That's how you proclaim. He prepares the table for me in the presence of my enemies. Karaba shondo kodia mahasa. He anoints my head with oil and I walk in the overflow because the oil is overflowing. It's more than enough for me. It's more than enough for my family. It's more than enough for my church, my community, and I'm able to help others. A desire to get to that 
dimension of being blessed. He says, I've commanded the blessing and it shall be upon them. How do I make sure that I experience this divine uplifting, Pastor Fortune? I'm going to live a righteous life. It's going to be my desire to desire the things that God desires. I'm going to desire soul winning. I'm going to win a soul this week. I'm going to desire living a righteous life. I'm going to uh, come out of my sinful nature. I'm going to repent and fully mean it this time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are going to live upright and righteously in the name of Jesus Christ because God says when you do that, uh, you will encounter favor in the sight of God and you will encounter favor in the sight of men. I declare that there shall be open doors as a result in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare it again. Somebody type divine upliftment in Jesus' name. Somebody type divine upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, let them remind them to seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. God is not interested in 15 pages of prayer requests. He's saying, focus on my kingdom. Everything shall be added unto you. Even the things that you could not have listed. Some of you will forget other prayer requests. But he says, my kingdom expansion is at my heart. How do you do this, Pastor Fortune? Because when I want divine upliftment, I'm going to make sure that I'm humble. He says, remind them that they need to exercise humility. Hallelujah. Humbling ourselves makes a way for us to get divine upliftment. James chapter 4 verse 10, he says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Have you ever seen that? He says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. He's the one who's going to lift you up. I always tell those of you who have been with me for a long time, it doesn't help you to be rude to people. It doesn't help you to be rude to the gate man. It doesn't help you to be rude to your domestic worker. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Some of you need to move away from this sense of entitlement because some of you have been in church for so long and things are not working out for you because you are so interested in being treated like, um, let, me, let, let me tell you, royalty does not need to announce its royalty. So you have been carrying yourself in a church because you are saying, I have been tithing in this church and they need to treat me like a person who's tithing. And God says pride has crept in in you. You thinking you are entitled to be given the best seats. You think you are entitled because you are sowing. You think you are entitled because you are giving tithes not to serve in church. You think you are too good to be an usher. You think you are too good to go out on evangelism. This is a word of rebuke, by the way. I don't know who he's for, but take it. And I, and I know you, are, you know about yourselves. He says, humble yourself. I'm the one who lifts you up. You don't have to announce yourself sometimes. And God says, there's some people that I need. God bless you, everybody who has joined my team. Thank you so much. Oh God, thank you. Call it into remembrance, O oh Holy Spirit. Humble yourself and he shall lift you up. Humble yourself and he shall lift you up. Okay, God, God will bring that to me. There was somebody that I needed to, to correct. Here it is. It is not because of your gift that you will be recognized. I know you are gifted. I know that I've called you, but you should stop carrying yourself as if... Some of you, you are being... It, you feel like you are being slowed down and people are not recognizing your spiritual gifts. It's not that... God is saying, it's not that I'm not bringing the recognition of your spiritual gifts, but I'm actually putting you in correction. I'm trying to get you to be humble because pride will creep, keep, uh, creep in. And he says, he's going to put you on assignments that look like you are too low to do them. You, you will feel like this is too low for me to do. And he's going to put you in positions where you have to serve the anointing that is mentoring you. And you're going to feel like you are dying inside because all you want, some of you, you want the stage so much and it's not time for the stage. And I know that when you bring such words of correction, they will say, no, you want to suppress us. No. You know your character needs to be in check. You are not ready. And God says, I want to work on their character because they cannot destroy my sheep. My sheep have been scattered for too many times. My sheep have, have been attacked for too many times. And God is saying, I'm rising to protect my sheep. 
and it will be like I'm closing doors for you because you are saying, I know I'm gifted. I know I want to manifest my gifts. He says he's going to close the door until you re learn character correction. Your character, I don't know who it is, but you need a character correction. And what has been happening in your life is because nobody has been giving you attention and it's eating you up. You are feeling like you are crumbling. Nobody has been giving you attention, especially in your church. There's two people in your workplace, the same correction. The Lord says I must correct two people. It's your humility that is blocking your promotion. You are not humble. I am praying, Brenda. Trust me. I may be saying so many things, but there's so many people that I'm praying for right now. Is this resonating? You've been wondering. It's like your doors are being blocked. You have done every single thing that you needed to do in your workplace, but it's like your doors are being blocked. And you're saying they're not recognizing me for my achievements. No, the problem is that you have been talking so much about them. And there's nothing wrong with talking about their achievements, but you keep on throwing. You'll be fine, my man, in Jesus' name. Everything has healed. Yes, your head is overflowing with anointing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give thanks to God right now as we close. Father, I thank you. I give you praise and adoration. And I declare that your mercy endures forever. There shall be divine upliftment. Come on, somebody. If you are not typing amen, make sure you keep on typing divine upliftment in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for goodness in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for every single person that is on my broadcast and on Amara Official and on YouTube and on Facebook. Right now, my God, I pray for protection over their lives. I pray for protection over their children's lives and their families' lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I release provision in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord because you are the God of provision you are the God of blessings in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord that good things are being released in their lives in Jesus mighty name my God I say be thou exalted this morning in Jesus mighty name but I thank you Lord that every person who's at the sound of my voice right now you are lifting them high you are lifting them high and you are taking them to places that are above their expectations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that Lord, they will encounter a divine upliftment in Jesus mighty name in this week, Father God, as they start the week, Father God, I decree that this shall be a week of breakthrough in everything that is laid in their hands. My God, whatever shall be put in their hands shall be multiplied and fruitful in Jesus mighty name. This will be a week of breakthrough. My God, everything that they have laid their hands on, my God, will will prosper in Jesus mighty name. Father, I declare and I decree that Lord, they will enjoy divine favor from you in Jesus name. My God, I pray for every single person under the sound of my voice and I decree and I declare that grace will work for them in every area of their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, they will encounter showers of blessings more than they ever expected in Jesus mighty name. I decree and I declare that you will make a point of blessings make them a point of blessings to other people he says as i bless you you shall be a blessing to other people thank you jesus thank you jesus oh god that person who's got sinuses i command a healing for you in jesus mighty name May you experience immediate relief in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We decree that this week we shall encounter showers of blessings all around. You will make us a point of blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God. There's somebody, you've got a headache here at the back of your neck. Like at the end you know those tension veins and you are feeling like vomiting right now you can go uh, go and, and 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 vomit and come back 
You can come back and confirm. Thank you for delivering that person, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you. I pray for that headache in Jesus' mighty name. I command it to cease in Jesus' mighty name. You've actually not been able to even keep any food down because every time you've not you've been strong you know when i say you've been strong i know that i don't want to say you've been sick but you've been strong and the lord is saying i am restoring your health i'm restoring your health so that 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 action of of bringing out is is is, is also his way of giving you that sign that he is actually delivering you you're going to be healed from that thing you actually suffer from a lot of migraines and it's because of the tension the tension you've been feeling you've been under a lot of stress you've been under a lot of stress it's not a it's not a physiological issue but it's triggered by the stress divine upliftment when you're done please come back and you can rinse your mouth and come back and just pray let's pray together And come back and confirm that it's done father thank you lord that you're going to make us a point of blessings this week in jesus name father thank you lord that you have positioned everybody to be above their contemporaries in jesus mighty name father god qualify every person who feels unqualified in jesus mighty name anybody who's going to walk into an interview that meeting that is critical my god to closing those business deals in the mighty name of jesus christ Thank you, Lord, that you go ahead of them and you're going to perform the miraculous in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you are the lifter of their heads, my God. And Father, we pray, Lord, and say, Lord, lift my head up. Lift my head up. Lift up the heads of those on Facebook and on YouTube right now in Jesus' mighty name. Shakoria Bahasanda. Linda Takawira, may the Lord lift up your head in Jesus' mighty name. And as he lifts up your head, Karama Shakata. He says, let them dwell in my glorious presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, open the floodgates of, of, of heaven in abundance. Can somebody pray that prayer with me now? Just ask for the God of heaven to open up the floodgates of heaven in abundance and say, God, let it rain. Let it rain. Let, it, let, that, let that be your prayer right now. I want you to declare it and say, God, let it rain. Let it rain. A season of abundance. My God, let abundance rain. Let blessing rain. Let the floodgates of heaven be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your glory shine in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let our our lives fire up my god in jesus mighty name let our careers be fired up in the name of jesus christ let our businesses be fired up in jesus mighty name thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord you are fired up on lns your career is fired up finances are lifted you will encounter the glorious works. My God, the glorious works of the hand of the Lord will be seen in you in this week in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I command from the north, the east, the south, and the west, let your favor and blessings come through in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let grace accompany every single one of them, every step that they take, everywhere their steps will take, everywhere their foot will step into. My God, let them encounter grace every place in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord that you are going to be the gps that points them to greatness any meeting that they need to get to let them not miss it any opportunity of greatness they will not miss it any person that they need to meet my god that will elevate and unlock that greatness door my god i prophesy that it shall happen they will not miss it in jesus mighty name Father, I prophesy promotion into their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare an elevation in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are granting them success in all that they do in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for divine directions to work out in the path. My God, that they you need them to go. My God, let nobody miss their path. God, order their steps in the paths that they should go. Make the crooked places straight in Jesus' mighty name. Every crooked path is being made straight. The Lord says, 
says you shall not stumble in Jesus mighty name and anybody who tries to make you stumble my God he is removing him from your from your sphere of influence in Jesus mighty name I decree and I declare my God as we start this week that failure shall not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father our life shall be the contact for others to discover their divine blessings as well in Jesus mighty name father I decree and I declare that everybody who's at the sound of my voice my God they are a divine magnet in Jesus mighty name let it rain my God yes I'm, I'm liking the people who are declaring and saying they want the rain of favor of financial breakthrough somebody wants a rain a favor of, of health come on somebody you declare let it rain and you say exactly what it should rain in Jesus mighty name father I decree and I declare and I say unto them my God those who are ready to receive my God this week they shall be a carrier of blessings they shall be a carrier of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting you up for greatness. The Lord is setting you up for breakthrough. The Lord is setting you up for divine upliftment. Can somebody shout to the Lord and, and receive these declarations? Somebody shout to the Lord this prophetic word. Divine upliftment, that is your prophetic charge and that is your matching orders for this week. Father, give us the grace to obey your words and your commandments to do your will this week, my God. We will not miss it in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that will bring us down, Father, take them far away from us in Jesus' mighty name. Anything or anyone who wants to bring us down, my God, remove them from our path. Take them far away, God. What you do with them, Father God, we commit them unto you in Jesus' name. Father, I prophesy that anyone who is planning the downfall of anybody who is listening to the sound of my voice, right now I prophesy with the oil on my life, uh, with this mouth that I used to pray and preach, my God, I prophesy that they will fail in Jesus' mighty name. Anybody who is busy orchestrating your downfall, they will fall for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That lady who's unfortunate online and your mother is going to a court case, my God, my God, anybody who has orchestrated they are downfall who has said your mother will not lose will not win my god they shall fall i prophesy that they shall fall for their sake that pit that they had dug for your mother they will fall in that pit may mercy intervene and in, in and, and and change things around in jesus name if you receive it if you believe it accept it and be clear no wishy-washy we don't know. There's no such thing as we don't know. This is protocol breaking prayers. We take it by force. The kingdom of God suffereth violence and we take it by force. We take it by force because it's scriptural. We take it by force. It is written. And if it's written, we are bringing it to be live. This is our rhema. We move with this rhema in the name of Jesus Christ. Here we pray prayers that get answered. We don't come chancing. Let us find favor in your sight, O God. Let us find favor in the sight of men. Let our lives be an expression of grace this week. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us witness your divine power this week. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, glorify yourself in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let the plans of the enemy to bring us into a downturn, that, that, let it turn around. You are, that downturn is going to be an upturn. What the enemy was orchestrating as a downturn is being flipped around as an upturn in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as I pray and I say, divinely uplift us. God bless you, Sadie. Father, I decree and I declare that they shall be divinely uplifted. Your face shall shine upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, let your face shine upon me. There is a glory that you will see in the face. This might sound like a joke, but there is a way that the anointing can make your face shine. And, and a few of you have actually experienced it because when you declare it, as you're going to go out today, you're going to declare my face will shine. Let the face of the Lord shine upon me. Let the face of the Lord shine upon me. That thing will bring you favor. Guys, I tell you, what happens in the kingdom of God, in the spiritual realm, is mimicked in the evil realm. So the same way, if you go to an evil priest or you go to an evil altar and they will give you things to put on your face, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. 
the same way they give them instructions, right? I know you're going to use makeup, but you say, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you're using your makeup, let your face shine upon me. Let favor be seen on my life. Let favor be seen. Anybody who looks at you, anybody who looks at you, they will feel a comp they, they will be compelled to bless you. Let your face shine upon me, Lord. I've taught you tricks. Yesterday in church, I taught them tricks on how to get God's presence faster. And when you get tired of praying, maybe, I will, maybe they will share that video or that MP3. Or I'll, I'll come back and teach you it on another day. But there are things that you need to understand that why they do it in the evil kingdom is because they know they work. So as you are agreeing and you say, let my face shine, whether you are putting Vaseline or you are putting your anointing oil, there is a favor that comes upon you. Some of you have experienced this. I've experienced I walk into places and they say, were you not the one I saw on TV? Were you not the one? Da, 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 da. And you will get favor. I shared the testimony. I said, I went into an establishment and they thought I was some military general. And the favor I got was amazing. I didn't know why everybody was running around. But it was the favor of God. It was the anointing. Let me be specific. The anointing speaks. And the anointing will speak for you. You will not understand because some of you you don't understand why. Do you understand that people can walk in into the same aeroplane and have booked an economy class ticket? What takes that person, that air hostess who will come and say, you have been upgraded to business. You've been upgraded to first class. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. God, God, God is confirming, saying, some people are being upgraded, fortune. I'm in an aeroplane. He's showing me through an illustration of an aeroplane. He says, people are going to be upgraded into business. People are going to be upgraded into first class. I've, I've, I've experienced it. Hey, Karaba. Yes, Ovi. I have been upgraded. This, this, this has been my life. I don't know why. And I pray God gives me more of that favor. My God, it must not disappear. Especially with Emirates, because their planes, planes are very nice in the physical. Every time, I'll just be minding my own business. And the one who's be slaying and, and, and walking with high heels and everything. And I'm, I'm pushing my way with my track suit and techies like this. Say, ma'am, you've been upgraded to first class. Can somebody say, God, uplift me to first class? Can we declare it? Can we prophesy it? Say, God, upgrade me to first class. Upgrade me to Korea Basa. I hope it's a good light, Shields. Is it a good light? Is it like, is it like an angelic light that you're seeing? I don't know. I don't know what God is showing you, but if the Lord, some, uh, somebody has just said that there's a, a, a light. Maybe it's my angel. Father, I thank you. God, upgrade me to first class. My God, thank you, Olive. Guys, are you experiencing the same thing? You know, sometimes maybe I, I'm, I'm oblivious to the things that are happening around me. Father, I thank you for all the angels that are around me. I now suddenly feel the presence heavy. Thank you, shoes. I actually feel it. I, I, I'm having the edge to cry. You don't understand. It's very heavy. You are very perceptive. My God. God, upgrade me to first class. Come on, somebody. Guys, make sure you connect before we disconnect the live, okay? Make sure you have connected with the account that you are seeing me from. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you on Facebook and on YouTube, I know you're not seeing the comments, but somebody has just confirmed they are seeing this, this angelic lights around me. God, if this is for your people, let them tap in. 
Let that light come in Jesus' mighty name into their lives. Any plan of the enemy to bring you to a downfall shall be a an upgrade. You will not be downgraded this week in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for my angels that are around me right now. Thank you for confirming your presence in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray, Lord, that you are merciful to us. Thank you, Lord, that you bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, that you are causing your face to shine upon us, my God. Thank you, Lord, for the glory that you are confirming this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Let your face shine upon me in Jesus' name. Remember me, O Lord, and favor me. Visit me with your salvation. Remember me with your favor in Jesus' my mighty name. Somebody needs to go pray on Psalm 106 verse 4. Make sure you pray that prayer every single day. Divinely uplift me, O oh God. Father, we glorify you. And give us the empowerment, O oh God, that this week, every single day of this week, Lord, let us glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for answered prayers for divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for divine upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for divine upliftment. We thank you for divine completion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, I want you to pray right now. The presence is so heavy. In, in, uh, the Lord is saying, I'm completing it. I'm divinely completing it. I'm divinely completing it. In John chapter 11, there is a story. If you take it from verse 39, the Bible says, Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, who was the sister of the person who was dead, said unto him, By this time, he's already stinking. For he hath been dead for four days. He's talking about Lazarus. So the sister is saying, This situation is already dead, God. You don't understand. I don't even think my marriage is worth praying for. I don't even think I want to send even, even another CV. I don't know what is that thing that you've been feeling. It's so dead. Martha, you have been, you've got, thank you, Jesus, two daughters. And your desire has to be that they should go to university. And you've actually given up on the fact that your children will ever go to university. Because you're saying the situation is dead and it's stinking. And the Lord just brought the scripture for me to encourage you to say, don't tell me how long it's been dead. Don't tell me how long. Those of you who are tapping into this anointing and you understand that I'm also, I'm talking to a few people. I, what, what he says to one, he says to all. He says, you have been saying the issue about my finances, it's dead. And therefore, there's nothing else that the Lord can do for me. I can see that my children are just going to be. And they're not going to amount to anything. Then there's another lady. It's you, you and your siblings. You don't live with your parents anymore. You live in a four bedroom house. There's one, two, three. One, two, three. There's an L shape. There's an L shape outside room buildings that have been built. Two outside living uh, living quarters there's two rooms built outside they are cemented but they are not painted the, the doors are maroon the doors are maroon and they are made of corrugated iron it's not wooden doors but this side there's a four room house 
there's three girls that are staying in that house and your brothers your senior brother stays in the main house inside and you've got everybody has got children one of the girls has got three children none of you are married I don't know who you are but when I know I know when I open my eyes I will see the notification and I will see the confirmation and it's like there's a cloud a dark cloud that's been hanging on your family because you guys are just managing you are just doing cut and paste you are just doing cut and paste. I don't know who I'm talking to. If, if that's who you are, identify yourself first so that I can see what else he wants to say. But there's a dark cloud that has been placed upon you and upon your house. And it is as a result. My God, are we really doing this? The outside toilet by the corner. There's an outside toilet. This is not, I'm in a location. I'm not in a suburb the outside room in the location there's something that has been planted behind that toilet that place where the toilet is next to the way the toilet is it was an altar of sacrifices there were there was blood that was spilled there your grandmother is also deceased and your grandmother used to do certain incantations at that point There was incantations being done at that point, at that place. You guys don't know because you've sort of like built, there is a, you know this uh, sink, it's it's uh, made of concrete. Is that you, Kwasi? Oh, Jesus. Whew. So you guys built a sink. The 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 you do you guys know those sink? They're made of 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 cement. It's like cement. It's those old ones. But there were incantations that were made there. Now you guys didn't know about it, but there are people in your street that knew about it. In the dispensation when your 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 grandparents were still alive and because they know that there were dedications that were being made at that point I see an evil hand that came to put certain things on top of that because they knew that your destinies were tied there in Jesus mighty name your destinies were tied at that point your grandmother used to, to Thank you, Jesus. So, okay, let me, let me pass off because I don't want to pack. I need to close this. I've been promising myself that I don't want to stretch to two hours. So I'm going to, to do this. But I want you to pray. Because your, your moment of visitation has come. The dark cloud is lifting in Jesus' mighty name. The dark cloud is lifting. It has not been normal. It's not normal for everybody not to be married with so many children around the house you guys are literally surviving just by cut and paste you're just managing and your brother your senior brother has been behaving like i'm not going anywhere this is a family house but he has put himself in charge he said i'm not shifting let me not go too much because i need to cover as much as possible and, and just pray for the weekend 
But I know that that is resonating with others. Vicky, does it have the concrete as well? The concrete thingy, me, Bobby. Guys, get get used to to walking around your houses, your establishments. I need you to uproot. Um, <laughs> Diviki, can you do me a favor? Buy olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Open the bottle and you pray scriptures and you open Psalm 91. And I want you to prophesy and you pray and you say, I consecrate this oil. I, I bless this oil with this anointing oil. I'm going to go around and I'm going to anoint my house. Okay. And you're going to pray and you're going to say, God, open up my eyes to see if anything, every, any evil manipulation has been done in this house. Because yes, the people you bought it from, there were things that they were doing in that house. You need to understand everybody who's going to buy a house that somebody else was living in before. You can cleanse it. You can cleanse it yourself. That's why you need to pray. Some of you, when you go to hotel rooms, you need to understand that you need to pray. Don't assume that the bed sheets have been changed. There are evil things that have been done in those beds. And I'm not trying to be cute. And I know some people will laugh and say, Pastor, ha, ha. you know, obviously people go and do different things. But some of these sheets are not even changed. You need to pray. You need to always cover yourself whatever establishment you enter into. But that's a teaching for another day. I hope you got it, Diviki. You're going to go around and anoint. You're going to anoint the ground. You're, you're going to anoint the ground everywhere, even the gate. And you're going to go specifically to that sink as well. New lover, you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Let me close, please, guys. He says, take away the stone. Martha says he's already stinking for four days. John 16, 24, he says, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your happiness may be complete. So, Father, as we continue to pray and lift your name up, as we continue to ask for divine upliftment, Father, we ask that you remove every stumbling block so that our joy may be full in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Dr. Catherine. Welcome. Despite the smell that is still permeating in our lives, despite the smell that is permeating in our homes, despite the smell that is permeating in our, in, in our marriages, despite the smell that is permeating in our careers, that smell that is making us to be an outcast in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, roll away the stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Roll away the stone so that heaven can access. Look, we need heaven to access and call us out from that dead situation. Mukhadi, as I was praying, I don't even know which platform you're on, but you will identify yourself. Anytime you are in your workplace, nobody wants to stand around you. There is a smell that is permeating. As I was raising that prayer, prayer point, I saw Mukhadi and I saw Rose. I saw Mukhadi and I, say, I saw Rose. Those of you with dream interpretation, please come to the all night. Apostle will be back and he will help with the dream interpretation at that point. Thanks, my darlings. I saw Mukhari, I saw Rose. And I see Lucia. There is a smell. People don't want to stand around you. There is a smell that is permeating. Father, let that smell go. If, 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 if this is happening to you, you don't understand, but this is through an evil manipulation that th they're trying to repel. They're trying to, they don't want people to get close to you.
that one lady there is happening. Oh, Joe's Bay. Thank you for confirming, Joe's Bay. And one of you, the reason why the smell is there. You slept with a married man and you didn't know he was married. He actually lied to you. He didn't tell you he was married. And there was... It, 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 it was from, from that interaction. That exchange, you didn't know. Oh, so you found out. You found the reason. Thank you, Josbe. You, you, you found the reason why it was happening, right? Did you finish your deliverance on it? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for Josbe and everybody who has confirmed that this has been happening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you, Ophelia. God bless you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You shall be delivered from every smell, every evil smell that has been. Every evil smell that has been trying to deter you from your success and favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you so much too, my darling. Ah, my God. Yes, because I saw the the issue of marriage. God bless you, my darlings. Oh, Karabashata. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm just trying to press that. Guys, are you seeing these confirmations? Do you see that the evil hand has to be removed? We have to deal with these evil hands. We have to pray against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We've got evil hands. Some of these evil hands are from your mothers and laws. Yesterday I was praying with several women. We went to visit one of my darling dear sisters. And immediately in the minute, like just, we were just, it was just a casual visit. And she came out with a prophetic word. Something that I did, I, you, you see sometimes why, why it's not good for me to be too close to certain people. Because if I, if, if you become too familiar, I don't know, those of you who have been in the Lord for a long time, you know, if you are too familiar with the anointing, the anointing stops working for you. Because now you treat me as a friend. And, you know, so, and the, the, the one friend said to me, why did you miss this? Why didn't you tell me? I said, I didn't know, but I've, I've been telling you other things that your mother-in-law has been doing. But this was so specific. Because this was somebody that they've never said and spoken for more than an hour. And this is a, is a common phrase. It's a friend to my side. And the friend said, your husband is married to his mother. And it was shocking. So, I'm saying this illustration to say something to everybody who's listening to me right now. The light is appearing again, Neil. Yes. Because I need to illuminate this to somebody. I think, thank you, angels. The angels are asking me to illuminate. I'm helping some people. You've been having problems with your husband. And the problems that you're having with your husband and there is an ungodly evil relationship between the mother and the son that you have not been able to explain. And you see, me, I don't profess to know everything. That is why when, when, when there's a grace around me, and this is not, this my friend is not even a pastor or anything. She just said, you need to, she was giving the instruction to this other person saying, you need to break, you need to divorce them in the spirit. You need to, to, to pray against that marriage because some mothers, they want to tie their sons. 
They don't want their son to be, because they feel you are threatening their livelihood, that the son will not be able to do for them. And therefore, they want to tie you up. They want to put you in chains, in evil chains. And they've actually performed rituals to marry their sons in the spirit realm. So this one is not an issue of a spiritual husband or spiritual wife issue. I'm highlighting, I'm opening up the eyes of some of you. You have been wondering why there's something smelling, that smell. Thank you for confirming. There's, there's spiritual marriages by mothers and sons. And, and you can see how, how evil that is. So, Father, we pray for marriages. God, may God be the foundation of your marriage. May God open up the eyes, not only of you, but also for your husband or your spouse to see any evil manipulation that is coming from their father's house or their mother's house. Anybody who's trying to man manipulate. Yes, Ovi. I was shocked. We were, we were, we were struck like this. You know, it, it was like, light was like how did we miss it because the confirmation immediately came says, now it makes sense may you be delivered from every evil manipulation from your father's house your mother's house your in-laws house in jesus mighty name i pray for you in jesus mighty name i'm sorry Ilya kim may god give you a fresh partner and new partner i'm sorry that it destroyed your marriage sometimes it's because we don't come into these truths on time and that's why I'm saying, you know, <laughs> and sometimes we've got wonderful mother-in-laws, right? God, may you give us mothers-in-laws that are wonderful in Jesus' mighty name. And it came exactly when the light came again, when the light came again. <laughs> so <laughs> I needed to help other people. Sorry. Sorry, I nearly choked there. Take away the stone, whether it's been smelling for long. Hallelujah. Father, remove every stumbling block so that we experience the fullness of joy in this week in Jesus' mighty name. Guys, please make sure you connect with me and you turn on the notification bell before we switch off, okay? Despite every smell that has been permeating, my God, we thank you. You have removed that smell. Father, you have done a restoration of marriages, my God. Anything that has been planted that has been coming from the evil side, whatever altar or shrine that has been planted to scatter marriages, Father God, we send it back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage every single person who's having a challenge in your marriages that you pray. You pray for your marital bed. Anything that is around your house, you need to pray and you need to send back every evil that you are feeling and sensing. You say you send it back to sender and you pray for your husbands those who know that okay my husband is being manipulated or my wife is being manipulated what do you want to see keep on praying for them even if they are not in the house it's not witchcraft it's called prayer you are praying you are praying the same way you will pray for your children the same way you will lay hands on your children you're gonna lay hands on your things in your house in your doorpost everything your bed pray for your marital bed this is my marital bed it shall not be defiled in the mighty name of jesus christ no man is going to come in into this bed no man is going to come and scatter my marriage no no strange woman is going to take my 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 my, my wife out my, my my husband away am i communicating Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I ask for rest so that our joy will be full. In this week, Father God, I prophesy that there shall be joy that is full in Jesus' mighty name, irrespective of what we will see, irrespective of the symptoms that are coming in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, our joy shall be full in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus said to her, he said, I said I not unto thee if you will believe you will see the glory of God. And I say the same thing to you this morning. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. My God, this morning, we declare, we decree that we believe. Can somebody shout, I believe? I believe, show me your glory, God. I believe, therefore, show me your glory. Come on, somebody declare it in the comment section and say, I believe, show me your glory. I believe, show me your glory. Come on, you need to see. Karabasho tokodia bahasa. Use that 3350, get into the word and nurture it and pray and ask him to develop it and get a mentor that will grow it in Jesus' mighty name. When you finish with me, God, this week, 
Let your glory show forth, my God. Let your glory be seen by my enemies. That there is a God that helps men. There is a God that woke up and to help fortune. There is a God that woke up to help Spongiseni. There is a God that woke up to, uh, to help Linda. There is a God who woke up to help Ovi. There is a God that helps George in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a God that helps Esther in Jesus' mighty name. Divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. Eventually, they listened to Jesus and they rolled away the st stone from the place where the dead person was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that, that you hear me. Because Jesus understood that it's not about anything that he has to do. When I do prayers as well, I say, God, I'm not the one who heals. Me, I say the one that the angels bring. And I, the rest is up to God. So he said, I know you hear me. So as I'm about to utter what I'm about to utter, you are going to confirm those words and you're going to bring them out in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Miss Boss. And he says, Father, I thank you that you hear me. And as he was heard, he said, despite the smell, men will arise to obey you despite the smell that has been sent your way. God is sending men who are going to obey you, men who are going to be your divine helpers in the name of Jesus Christ despite the repulsion that they've been trying to manipulate in your workplace so that you lose your job. He says despite your current state for your sake, he says I am coming in to complete your testimony. Men shall arise to help you in that workplace. That thing that they had thought they are manipulating and they are performing as a witchcraft for you my god god is saying i'm reversing it it's going back to them men shall arise to help you in jesus mighty name father thank you for the completion that you are bringing for us in jesus name we thank you for the divine upliftment father in this completed week my god my god you are going to bless us in jesus mighty name thank you jesus any man that has been trying to plan your downfall, they will fall over themselves. And my God will supersede them to help you. Father, break every protocol over every person that has been trying to stop us. My God, supersede them with the help that you are sending our way. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know that you hear me always, but because of the people who are standing around me, my God, that they may believe that you have sent me. My God, I prophesy before this end of July, before the end of July and beyond, before the end of 2023, God will complete something in you that will make men know that you serve a living God, that you serve a God that is on your side. You serve a God that is ready to help you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. David said, moreover, Lord, you have delivered me out of the paw of the lion, the, the, the paw of the bear. You will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. I speak to any Philistine that has been bothering you. I speak to every Philistine that has been saying it's a giant. Who is that stumbling block that has been saying you will not prosper? Who is that person who has been saying you will not be promoted? Who is that person who has been saying that your calling will not be manifested and validated? Who is that person who has been saying that you will amount to nothing? My God, my God, I pray right now as I pray and they resign with me in this prayer my god somebody shout lord deliver me lord deliver me complete me completely from everything deliver me from everything that has always been aborted in my life in the name of jesus christ deliver me from aborting dreams halfway deliver me from aborting businesses halfway deliver me from starting projects i cannot finish deliver me from trying to marry somebody but always i get the fear and i leave because i think it's not gonna work your testimony is not a what has happened to other people your testimony will be different your marriage shall work work. I don't care what has been happening in your lineage, in your family. People have been getting divorced. The Lord is saying say this prayer and say Lord deliver me. Deliver me from any hand of the enemy that has been making my marriages and my family end up in divorce. I will succeed. My marriage will succeed. My children will be full of joy. Everything shall go according to plan. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this day of the Lord, the Lord shall deliver into my hand and I will smite you and I will take your head from you and I will take the carcass or to the host of the Philistines. Come on, somebody. Take your giant on. Face them on. Confront them head on. Deliver me from every opposition. Can somebody shout that prayer with me and say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me from every opposition. Deliver me so that I can experience peace on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, deliver me from every principality that will not allow me to complete this race. I will complete my race. Come on, somebody. 
Somebody declare it in the comment section and say, I will complete my race. I will complete my race in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, show the world that there is a living God in my life. I will not be ashamed. God has too much riding on you. You will not be ashamed. You will not be disgraced in Jesus' mighty name. Father, my God. This is my last scripture. When, when, when he had spoken and, and cried out, he cried out with a loud, loud voice and he says, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And I hear the spirit of the Lord is saying, come forth. It's time for you to step forth. I am Lily. Pelo, it's time for you to step forth. Miss Carol, it's time for you to step forth. Salome, it's time for you to step forth. Zodwa, it's time for you to step forth. Let me check my Facebook people. Chido, it's time for you to step forth. Brenda, it is time for you to step forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Vimbai, it's time for you to step forth in the name of Jesus Christ. He chooses what the world looks down on and he chooses what the world is looking and despising and, and they're thinking you are nothing. They're despising you. They are looking down on you in order to destroy what the world thinks it is important. Father, as we close, we pray. Deliver us. Make us end well. Can somebody tell your neighbor, the Lord is going to make me end well in Jesus' name. I will end well in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, I'm going to end well. I'm going to end well and I'm going to uh, end free. I'm free from shame. I'm going to end well. I'm free from shame. Can we declare this quickly? I'm going to be free from shame. I will end well in Jesus' mighty name. I decree my God, let my healing come forth. Can somebody say, at the same way Jesus ordered Lazarus to come forth, I want you now to start declaring in the comment section, whatever it is that you came here with any burden that you came bearing, protocol is about to be shifted as you say, Lord, let my healing come forth. Let my husband come forth, my runaway husband, call his name. Who is that husband that has run away from his house? Who is that man that is running away from his res re responsibilities and not maintaining their child? Let them come forth, call them and say, come forth. Call that person's name. Come forth. Come forth. Healing, come forth. Health, come forth. Business, come forth. Finances, come forth. Admissions, come forth. Applications, approvals, come forth. Come on, somebody, come forth. Come on, call it through. This is your divine upliftment. What is God uplifting for you? Come forth. And the dead, the, he who was dead, he came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face was bound without, with a napkin. Jesus said unto him, loose him and let him go. As I close, I decree that you are being loosed and you will, they will have to let you go. Every band-aid is being removed. Everything that they used to tie you is being removed. Every evil incantation that has been said is being removed around you in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever they had dressed you, the grave clothes are coming out. They are coming out. You are being loosed. You are coming out of the grave clothes. You are no longer dying. You are putting on the garment of praise. Come on, somebody. Joy has come. Weeping has ended. My God, I need somebody who's ready to announce it and declare it and demonstrate it in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, I'm free. I'm completely free in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout, I'm free as we close. I want to thank those of you who are on Facebook and on YouTube as you are declaring, I am free and I'm completely free in Jesus' name. I'm waiting for you before I, I stop the stream. Hallelujah. Somebody declare I'm free. I'm completely free in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for every single person on YouTube and Facebook that has tuned in on TikTok. I thank you, Lord, for those uh, who are going to connect and subscribe onto the channels that they are watching us from. I thank you, Lord, that their lives will be different. Father God, I thank you because of this encounter, because of these prayers and this session and the reach teaching of the word that has gone forth this morning. Lord, they are empowered Christians and they've shifted levels. My God, I thank you for total manifestations. Come on, somebody, as we are signing out, I need you to go and, and declare, I am completely free in Jesus mighty name I am completely free in Jesus mighty name and keep on declaring I'm divinely lifted I'm divinely lifted I'm divinely lifted in the name of Jesus I'm divinely lifted
that single mother who has been wondering how you will make it, I want you to say I'm divinely lifted. Hallelujah. I've already given you that key. How you're going to declare, you're going to declare, you're going to call his name forth and you're going to say, come forth, come forth and support your children. Come forth and support your children. The next time when you're going to your maintenance court hearing, you he, he will have no way to, to chicken out of it this time because he has been missing his maintenance dates. My God, I don't want to go into to, to that dimension now again. I want to close. Somebody please declare to me and declare to yourself, declare to the spirit realm, I'm divinely lifted. I'm divinely uplifted. I receive my divine upliftment in Jesus' mighty name. I'm divinely uplifted. God bless everybody. God bless you, everybody on TikTok. Those of you who want to watch the replay, please make sure you go to the YouTube and you will see the replay on Fortune L Online. Make sure you um, subscribe to that channel. And I'm going to help those of you on Mara Official so that you can see it. But please go to the profile that is on TikTok. You click on the profile. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because um, how to do it. But if you click on the picture that is on the top left, if you're on TikTok and you click on it and you open it, it will show you the handle that you need to, to follow uh, on YouTube. And there is also an icon for Instagram. When you click on that Instagram icon, it will do a drop down of the YouTube I of the YouTube and the Instagram. And if you want to connect to the WhatsApp group, you want to be part of the prayer group on my videos on TikTok, there is one with a barcode. You're going to scan it and you're going to be, you open your WhatsApp you're with your camera, you scan that bar barcode if you've got a second camera or you ask somebody else to open for you the barcode and you scan it. You will be in the WhatsApp group. You will get notifications. It's admins that are sending messages only on, only on exceptional days after we have a session just to hear the testimonies or um, you know, the specific things that we want to talk about, but only admin send is just a notification, just an added notification to tell you when I'm going live and also for any impromptu lives or any classes that are happening as well. Okay. God bless you, my darlings. You are divinely uplifted. Amen. Have an awesome day.